Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is the channel where my wife Amy and I travel the country in our RV Wanda, find lots of interesting places and bring reviews to you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today we are in St. Charles, Louisiana and we, well we got to go to a pub, right? We got to get some Irish food. We found McFarland's Celtic Pub. Is it Celtic? Is it Celtic? I think it's Celtic. Anyway, we're going to go inside, get us a Guinness and eat some food. Let's go. Walking into this restaurant felt very comfortable and it feels exactly like I would hope that a good Irish pub would look and feel. It has the right music on, lots of woodwork, tons of gaudy things all over the walls. Even the ceiling looks like it's made out of tin. Let's take a look at this menu. I'm actually really impressed with how they've integrated both Irish, you know, traditional Irish fare with some Louisiana flavors. I mean, they've got a ton of options available. Look at this appetizer menu and the dinner menu. It's all over the place, but it looks like they've done a good job in um, combining those two flavor profiles. They also have a pretty nice beer list here. Of course, I made the mistake and didn't specify that I wanted something on draft, which maybe for some of you is not a big deal, but there's something about drinking out of a pint glass. I got the uh, Smithwicks, which I have had on draft. Let's see if it's just as good out of a bottle. <sighs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. And even though for us, like technically right now, it's the day before, we wanted to get this video out so that you guys could have a toast with us on actual St. Patrick's Day. So cheers. Our food just came and we ordered just a bunch of appetizers this time because we wanted Irish fare and there were some things here that we'd never heard of or things that we knew that we liked. And so, you know, if we got everything that we wanted, there's way too much food for just Amy and I to eat. So what we did is we ordered three items. We ordered what's called box tea, we ordered scotch eggs, and what they call Blarney stones. These are fresh jalapenos stuffed with pork sausage, wrapped in applewood smoked bacon, and fried to perfection. So they come with this sauce. It's like, a, like an onion, mayonnaise, I don't know. But I'm gonna try it out here. Doesn't that look wonderful? Okay, so when they said it was sausage and bacon and jalapenos, forget about it. That's like all my favorite things right there. Mm, I'm almost speechless. These are kind of like these things we used to make on football day. We would take like a giant jalapeno, we would put cream cheese and wrap it in bacon and bake it. But instead of cream cheese, they put sausage and fried it. Oh my God, it is wonderful now that the jalapeno is not spicy hot. It just has that delicious jalapeno flavor. Mm. That is probably, I'm talking about mouthful, one of the best appetizers I've had since I can remember. That is the bomb. Mm. The next thing we got was the scotch eggs. Now, if you look at our video at the Fryer Tuck, they take, what they do is they take a hard boiled egg and they wrap it, yeah, wrap it in sausage and then fry that. Once again, some of the best things you can ever eat and fried. All right, so let's take a look at these. As you can see, it's a hard boiled egg. That's fried sausage. And this is the same kind of dip it looks like was on the last one. So I'm gonna try it without the dip first, and then I'll try it with the dip and I'll compare. Look at that, look at that little bite. I think they gave us like two full eggs. So let's see. Mmm, that's really good. It's like a real thin layer of sausage. Um, in the egg, it's just a hard boiled egg, you know? I'll try it in that sauce, see if it actually makes it any better. Those are good. They're real good. Um, 
They're not the best scotch eggs I've had, but to be fair, the last place that I had them, like just piled the sausage on. It was like that thick. It was insane. The third thing we ordered was called a box tea. And what this is, is potatoes, bacon, cheese, leeks, which are onions. They're pan fried together and then kind of serve like a pancake. And you gotta check these out to really appreciate them. These have a nice crispy outside. I love that. And then you open them up and oh my gosh, you know what these reminds me of? Some of the restaurants we've been to have like, like very decadent, like a hash brown casseroles. Uh, look at that big piece of bacon. I gotta dig that out for my bite. Is that okay, Paul? Oh, and this is English bacon too. Look, it's a nice, like the nice rounded bacon, not the strips. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. Mmm, this looks yummy. Mmm. That's very good. It does kind of taste like a breakfast item. Mmm. I forgot to mention it came with sour cream. Why? I have no clue. Absolutely zero idea why anyone would want to put sour cream technically on anything, but especially on this. It doesn't need it. It's nice, it's rich, it's salty. I mean, of course, it has bacon in it, so that makes everything taste good. While I've got you, I'm gonna try some of the things that Paul already showed you. I'm gonna start with the Blarney Stone. Now, my understanding is that these aren't too spicy hot. Mmm. Okay. I don't like jalapeno poppers that much. Like, if you know what a jalapeno popper is, it's a jalapeno that's like stuffed with like cream cheese and then it's deep fried. This is, I'm not crazy. This, however, is amazing because I suppose it has a lot of bacon and then Paul's right, when you stuff it with sausage, mm, that's yummy. Now, it's gonna be hard to beat the scotch egg we just recently had at um, the Fryer Tuck. I don't know, I guess it's been what? Maybe a month or so ago, Paul? But anyway, that was served as a whole egg. And this being that it's wedged out like this, I'll give it a shot. Mm. It's okay. I put my second bite in some dip. You know, I recall when we had the others, Paul did the whole like, <clears throat> this not so much. I'm enjoying it though. It's very, very good pub fare. And it's perfect, a perfect kind of dish to have while you're sitting around with friends and enjoying a pint. Which, by the way, I need to mention, I got myself a new pint. And this is the Ho Garden. It's a white beer, a whip beer. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, that's nice. Very soft, mild. Of course, it's on tap. Amy remembered to check. Mmm. I'll have to let Paul try this, see what he thinks. I'm gonna try this box tea. And I can tell you, it's sitting on the table. I can smell, it smells like onions already. But, it's kinda, kinda soft and mushy. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, but I can see why they put sour cream on it. So, you know what, Amy don't like sour cream that much? I love sour cream. So, I'm going to Put a little bit of sour cream on there. Yeah, I kind of like it better with the sour cream. I see why they do that. That's really good. I would have to say that the texture is a little bit soft, but the outside is a little bit crispy. It's pretty good, you know, for something I've never had before. It's pretty good. I'd order that again. So I'm gonna try Amy's Ho Garden. Kind of a funny name, right? Ho Garden. Very citrusy, kind of like a an orange, kinda, almost like a like a hef, almost. In fact, it looks kind of like a hef if you look. It's kind of cloudy like that. Mmm, it's pretty good, but I prefer my Guinness. Oh yeah. 
So what did we think of McFarland's Celtic Pub? It was a pretty fun place. Now we came really early, so there's really nothing happening right now. But it looks like it's a pretty fun place. They have a great bar. The menu is huge. People are friendly here. The food is good. It's definitely a place to go out and have a Guinness, have a pint, and meet up with friends. Um, you know, it's kind of unfortunate because usually St. Patrick's Day is a really big day for us. And we go out in the past and we party. And, you know, back at home, they have like this whole block that they close off and they have bagpipes. and. It's insane, it's a lot of fun, and we really miss that, being on the road a lot of times. We're nowhere near, in fact, you know, on St. Patrick's Day, we're actually on the road driving. So it's not always as fun, we really miss that. We had a great time today, and we hope you guys had a great time watching us eat a bunch of Irish pub food. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, but most importantly, shoot us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We're headed west, and we're gonna be heading through Texas, going through by Austin, by Houston. So if you know of a cool place, let us know. Maybe if we're near there, we'll check it out. And if we do, we'll mention you in the video. We also wanna encourage you to check out your local food shelter, food pantry. You know, give a little bit. Give a buck or two, maybe an hour of your time, or a couple cans of food. It makes a big difference in someone's life, and it makes you feel good too. So until next time we eat together, guys, we'll see ya.